Stephen A. Smith. Did he make the right decision wanting to leave the Cavs? Well, first of all, uh, we can't say we certainly can't say he made the wrong decision. Right now, it looks absolutely right uh, because he's making a move for his long-term future. He did not want it to be in Cleveland, and he did, he did not want it to be under the stewardship of LeBron James because he is Cleveland. And right now, they're on a 16-game winning streak. It's certainly a long season to go. We understand that. But Kyrie Irving has proven this brother is a bad somebody. This this dude is special. Okay. 40, 47 points on better than 70% shooting. The first time that has been done by a Boston Celtics since Larry Bird did it in 1989. I mean, this is what this is what Kyrie is doing. Now, him combined with Jalen Brown, the backcourt duo is averaging 63 points on better than 70% shooting over the last two games. I still think they lack depth. But when these guys are on the floor, I'm talking about Kyrie with Jalen Brown, with Jason Tatum, with Marcus Spartan, these boys, they're rough riders. They go after it. And Kyrie is a closer. He's a finisher. Everybody talks about the three rings that LeBron has. Kyrie is reminding the world that third ring that LeBron got, that first ring he brought back to Cleveland in more than a half century. Kyrie closed the deal. And by the way, he averaged 27 a game in that NBA final series. This brother is on another level. And right now, Max Kellerman, he's my leading candidate for league MVP. It is like that with this brother right now. The team collectively is doing their things. Brad Stevens is my coach of the year thus far. I think he's doing a phenomenal job. Danny Ainge is my executive of the year. All of that is true. But when I look at Kyrie Irving right now, to know coming into this season how all eyes were on him, how he asked for it, how he made it very, very clear. You know what? He didn't tell LeBron James and when asked why, why should I? Why do I have to? Very, very dismissive in that regard. He is putting everybody on notice. That ain't the only superstar in this league. And I know I'm not 6'9", 260, or 6'10", with a 7'6 wingspan like KD, but I'm a bad brother, and y'all better recognize. Well, guess what? I recognize. Kyrie's playing out of his mind. He's playing at an MVP level, and the most impressive thing to me is, yeah, he scored 47 last night. That's what the team needed. He's doing whatever the team needs to win. He is showing the one knock against him, where I can't say it is a knock against him, the question about him that I had was, could he be the best player on a winning team? Because when LeBron sat, he didn't win, right? Like, they didn't even win regular season games. When LeBron sat in regular season games, he would have a bad plus minus when he was on the floor. So for all his, oh, my God, did you see that stuff, the question was, could he be a winner? Boy, so far this year, is he a winner? I mean, look at this winning streak. And he sacrificed his scoring average. He doesn't care. He's playing like Paul Pierce, Kevin Garnett, and Ray Allen played. Like, whatever. Let's just figure this out and win. So he is showing something right now, no question. But did he make the right choice? As it turns out, yes, because he went from a team in Cleveland, which is a terrible organization. I mean, you talk about the bum organizations in the NBA, the Knicks, Dolan, obviously Sacramento, right, a place like that, uh, a franchise like that, Cleveland. They're, they're, those are the bottom feeder organizations because they have terrible ownership. LeBron James is so great, he overcame that. Like, no one can overcome it in New York or Sacramento unless maybe LeBron was there. He's so great he overcome that, but he's masking a bad organization. And Kyrie was in that organization, and he noticed that it was obviously older, right? Like, LeBron is not ascending, certainly. Whether or not he's descending, that'll happen soon. He's old. Um, Kevin Love, also older. They have no cap flexibility. They don't have a ton of high draft picks coming in. They don't have a coach who is a championship coach now, as it turns out. But not a coach would be like, oh, my God, that's a wunderkind-type coach, right? Uh, and so he left that organization, and he wound up in one of the most storied franchises in American team sports history in the Celtics with obviously a good ownership group, a great GM in Danny Ainge, a great young coach, great young pieces, cap flexibility, all type of stuff, and more yes. draft picks coming in. So he landed in the perfect spot. But, Stephen A., it turned out he made the right choice so far. But, Stephen A., what if he would have wound up in New York or Sacramento or even a place like Chicago? Then it would have been the wrong choice. Kyrie got somewhat lucky that he landed in, in Boston where he can show everything he's got and where he has an ascending young supporting cast in a perfect situation. Max, my brother, if you don't know, just ask. I'm right here. If I had a question about boxing... Would I not ask you? 
Why don't you just yes, ask? Because even though you okay. just brought, you just pointed out things that are theoretical, the bottom line is this: He did not want to play for LeBron James anymore. And the operative word is right. for, not with, because he felt like he was playing for LeBron James because Cleveland caters to the King, King James, in a way that Kyrie and others have felt was downright was downright excessive. Now that's not to knock LeBron James or anything like that. He's the best player in the world. And the best need to be treated like the best. We can't hate on that. But the reality is, is that when you're not interested in being seen as a sidekick, when you're not interested in being seen as a little brother, and when you feel like somebody is trying to play you like that, and I don't mean negatively, I'm just talking about the way Kyrie took it. I didn't take it that way. You didn't take it that way. We appreciate the greatness of LeBron James, but we ain't great like Kyrie. And Kyrie wasn't obligated to appreciate it like that. Kyrie doesn't view LeBron James as being the person that carried the Cleveland Cavaliers to a championship. He views himself as an incredibly pivotal and integral part of that because he was the one primarily sure responsible for closing. Those are the kind of things that resonated okay, with him.